one of the hottest issues in America today is immigration. And believe it or not, one of the flashpoints recently was Concord, of all places, over plans possibly by the U.S. government to open a detention center there. Joining us this morning is Congressman Mark DeSonier. What were they serious about opening a detention facility of that magnitude? What, to handle 47,000 people at Concord Naval Air Station, that empty lot out there? So uh, there was an article in Time magazine that somebody within the Department of Defense had re released this report. Um, the administration had told the Department of Defense to start looking at military bases to put put detainees in. So this report said that uh, they should look at Cochrane Naval Weapons Station for, to put up to 47,000 people there. Do you think they were serious, though? It was, was With this serious? administration, it's hard to tell. I mean, we had asked as soon as we heard, but um, we didn't get a response, so we now, went one public. One of the things that made it such a hot story was the treatment right. of children by the immigration the authorities these days. What's the story there? What's the difference between how Trump is handling it and how Obama handling it? So Obama was criticized because he was aggressive about immigration control, um, but he didn't separate families. So there are court decisions that sort of guide us. The Trump administration's challenging those, but you didn't separate families. You kept them together. So if they came to the border or were cited, um, you kept the families together while they were adjudicated and either sent back to their country of origin um, or allowed to come into the Where country. Where were they kept together? They were, kept, they were kept together. Usually they were referred to some place. So if they had families, lots mm -hmm. of people in the Bay Area, they could go to the families. Then they had to show up for the court date. If they didn't show up for the court date, there would be one. How does that issue. differ from the Trump administration? That when you come to the portal and ask for asylum, they separate the kids so from the parents. And they've sent them all over the country. I have two in Pleasant Hill. They were sent to New York. So there were 2,000. We're now trying to, they're now trying to reunify the families. What's driving the families with the children up? So what's happened is there's uh, Guatemala, El Salvador, uh, Honduras, uh, there's the, the drug organized crime runs the country, so the crime is so rampant that people are leaving the country What's because it's dangerous. What's caused the drug crime to be so rampant in those areas? Uh, some of it has been, I think, the success of in the U.S. government and the Colombian government to drive them out of Colombia, so they've moved north. Okay, when these people come up with the children, it's, it's, it grabs America's heart. It's led to a great controversy as far as the Trump administration, and it has definitely gotten them in hot water. What right. do you see going forward? Well, we, this is federal law, and it's laws and treaties we've agreed to with other countries. You're allowed to seek asylum, and then you have a court hearing, and the courts decide whether you are justified in that or not. They either deny you or accept you. So he's created this big immigration thing because it works for his base, and he's hoping it'll drive enough uh, conservative voters out to vote in November. Okay, if that is the case, are you playing then into his hands? I think he thinks so, um, but you've got a you've got a moral, ethical, legal obligation to say something about this stuff. Wouldn't so, the Democratic leadership do they want to be talking about this, or do they want to be talking about something else? I think we want to talk about the economy and why his tax cuts, his economy is benefiting Wall Street, but it's not benefiting average Americans. Wages are still stagnant, cost of living is expensive, housing in the Bay Area. But if he pulls something like this, right. and all the TV cameras right. show up, no, and you guys it. show up to protest, that becomes the issue. It does. And that's the game we're playing in politics right now. And he's a master at this. He's a master at dividing America and getting people all upset and emotional as opposed to focusing on the real issues in front of us. One of them is immigration reform, securing our borders, but also acknowledging that we've got 11 million people here who are contributing who need to somehow become... But we've heard that for so many years. Right. I mean, and nothing has been taken care of it on either. I, when there's a Democrat in there or a Republican, this goes back to the before George Bush, when we had the Kennedy Compromise. Those that are here get amnesty. Those that are crossing the line don't get to come in. Yeah, we need to do something about it, <laughs> irrespective. So right now we're locked. Uh, they've tried two bills in the Republican caucus. We have bipartisan bills, but they, as I've told you before, they won't bring them to the floor for a vote. If they did, it would pass with Democrats and Republicans supporting it. But between now and then, we're not going to have a detention center in Concord? Mm, I've been told by the Department of Defense that they will not. Okay, personally? You got that word? Yes. Okay. Uh, so it was a, uh, protesting was successful. There we go. Democracy in action, at least until the midterm elections. Congressman Mark Desson, 